I've grown accustomed to her faith. She almost makes the day begin. I've grown accustomed to the tune that she whistles night and noon. Her smiles, her frowns, her ups, her downs are second nature to me now. Like breathing out and breathing in. I was serenely independent and content before we met. Surely I could always be that way again. And yet, I've grown accustomed to her look, accustomed to her voice, accustomed to her face. Freddy. What an infantile idea. What a heartless, wicked, brainless thing to do. But she'll regret it. She'll regret it. It's doom before they even take the vow. I can see her now, Mrs. Freddy Einsford Hill, in a wretched little flat above a store. I can see her now, not a penny in the till and a bill collector beating at the door. She tried to teach the things I taught her and end up selling flowers instead, begging for her bread and water, while her husband has his breakfast in bed. In a year or so, when she's prematurely gray and the blossom in her cheek has turned to chalk, she'll come home and lo, he'll have upped and run away with a social climbing heiress from New York. Poor life. How simply frightening. How humiliating. How delightful. How poignant it'll be on that inevitable night when she hammers on my door in tears and rags. Miserable and lonely, repentant and contrite. Will I take her in or hurl her to the wall? Give her kindness or the treatment she deserves? Will I take her back or throw the baggage out? Well, I'm a most forgiving man. The sort who never could, ever would, take a position and staunchly never budge. most forgiving man. But I shall never take her back. If she were crawling on her knees, let her promise to atone, let her shiver, let her moan. I'll slam the door and let the hellcat freeze. Marry Freddy. So used to hear her say, good morning every day. Her joys, her woes, her highs, her lows, the second nature to me now. Like breathing out and breathing in. I'm very grateful she's a woman, and so easy to forget. Rather like a habit one can always break. I've grown accustomed to the trace of something in the air, accustomed to her face.
about giving lessons, not him. I heard him say so. Well, I ain't come here to ask for any compliment, and if my money's not good enough, I can go elsewhere. Good enough for what? Good enough for you. Now you know, don't you? I'm come to have lessons, I am, and to pay for them too, make no mistake. What is it you want, my girl? I, I want to be a lady in a flower shop, instead of selling at the corner of Tottenham Court Road. But they won't take me unless I can talk more genteel. He said he could teach me. Well, here I am, ready to pay, not asking any favour, and he treats me as if I was dirt. I know what lessons cost as well as you do, and I'm ready to pay. I won't give more than a shilling. Take it or leave it. It's almost irresistible. She's so deliciously low, so horribly dirty. I'll take it. I'll make a duchess of this draggletail gutter snipe. I washed my face and hands before I come, I did. Where the devil are my slippers? 